Hello, I'm Coach Frank Alaco, and today I'd like to speak to you about a sacred promise. This past winter saw the unfortunate cancellation of March Madness and the abrupt end to the season for many elementary, high school, and collegiate players who sadly missed their opportunity for the challenge of the playoffs and a chance to create special memories with their teammates. As I think back to the disappointment faced by countless young men and women across the country, I fondly recall the special Men of March mindset that called us to compete and motivated the young men in our basketball programs at Northgate and De La Salle High School. As our season wound down each year, we would experience a rebirth as the culmination of every open gym summer league game and practice had always pointed to the deciding days in March and the fulfillment of our goals that finally awaited us just around the corner. March was my favorite month. It was a, a month of traditions, inspirational signs and encouraging visits from former players, motivational music and upbeat competitive practices. Every ritual that we created had its role, but none stood more important than the chapel service conducted at De La Salle High School. Prior to our Friday night games, our varsity team would walk together across the courtyard and entered a darkened second story classroom. We would quietly encircle this bright red candle that flickered in the center. It, its tiny flame illuminated the room and its weaving smoke mesmerized us as we joined together in a ceremony of love and reflection. After opening words from each coach, our players would share poems, songs, movie clips, or stories from their past that had a special meaning and significance to them. This spiritual ritual started with quite a bit of skepticism, but it grew to become our deepest connection and truly developed and defined the soul of each team. I have countless memories of, of those special nights, but, but none as powerful as our chapel meeting prior to our North Coast section game versus St. Joseph of Notre Dame, a perennial Northern California powerhouse. With the biggest game of their young careers before them, our players sat in silence and then slowly began to share their loving expressions of, of shared dreams, life experiences, and their total commitment to each other. After years of competing and growing together, they knew that this meeting tonight could be the final time they would share this sacred moment together, as a loss in the sectional semifinals would mean the end of their season. Our starting center was Jaime Sanchez, a mountain of a man raised in the inner streets of Oakland, California. Jaime was one of my favorite players and a player that I truly admired, a young person who had overcome the countless challenges presented in the unstable environment of his youth. The demands of our program were sometimes overwhelming for him, and he struggled with the discipline and the conditioning required to compete at the highest level of high school basketball. After an amazing junior season in which he earned co-most valuable player recognition in our league, he worked diligently in the offseason to prepare for his final season. But during the fall open gyms, I could sense that his passion for the game was waning. He, he was uncertain about the increased expectations placed on him and the team. But after several heartfelt conversations. He reluctantly returned to play his senior year. His devotion for his team overcame his personal hesitancy, and it became the driving force that enabled him to embrace the grueling challenge of his final season. Jaime's teammate and best friend, Gus Arginal, 
was an amazing competitor, a young man with a totally different story. A doctor's son, he was raised in the beautiful suburban hills of Lafayette, California. Gus had all of the advantages of a secure and stable environment, but he played like a man possessed. He was the heart and soul of our program and was the embodiment of the values that we stood for. Despite their diverse realities, Gus and Jaime were inseparable, and it was only fitting that they shared MVP honors their junior year. Gus's ability to lead and his desire to defend made him a special player who still stands as one of the greatest defenders and competitors I have ever coached. Jaime and Gus led the way into our chapel service that night, and they sat side by side as their teammates filed in around that gathering flame. Following our established protocol, our underclassmen spoke first, some sharing songs, others poems and video clips. But with the commitment ceremony coming to a close, the circle turned their attention to our four seniors who reverently shared their thoughts on their Spartan basketball experience. Captain Gus spoke about the hard work, sacrifice, and the total commitment he and his teammates had made to a new coaching staff just 18 months earlier. He thanked his friends for their support and their love. He spoke of almost 10 years of competing with many of these same teammates at XL Camp and AAU Basketball, growing up together, developing their friendships both on and off the court. With his voice shaking with emotion, he promised that tonight would see him giving every ounce of his energy to help us succeed. Jaime Sanchez concluded the ceremony as he quietly and humbly thanked his teammates for an amazing two-year ride. He talked about his, his own early season hesitation to totally commit to this journey. He expressed his gratitude for the support he was given by his coaches and his teammates as he dealt with his uncertainty. He said the sacrifice was well worth it, citing his development as a person and the fact that we were on the brink of a North Coast championship title. He concluded his heartfelt remarks by turning to Gus, his favorite teammate, and proclaimed, Gus, I have played basketball with you since we were eight years old, and I have loved every second of being your teammate. You are like a brother to me, and I want to let you know that I will have your back for the rest of our lives. I will do anything for you, and I promise I will never let you down. At the conclusion of his remarks, our team joined together in a final solemn team prayer that ended the gathering, and we left in silence our departing hugs speaking volumes about who we were. The short bus ride to Ignacio Valley High School just across the street was hushed as 15 young men reviewed their scouting reports and focused on St. Joseph of Notre Dame. We proudly entered the gym that night in our green cardigan sweaters and ties, a true band of brothers. After our brief team room warm-up and final instructions from our coaches, we eagerly ran onto the court to the sounds of Scottish bagpipes. As we spiritedly broke our huddle and sprinted to the center circle, the pilots were there waiting confidently on the heels of two consecutive section championships. The game was a seesaw Heavyweight battle, and after quarters of 12 to 12 and 9 to 9, the game was knotted at halftime. 
But the pilots came out strong in the third quarter and gained the upper hand as they led by four going into the final eight minutes. With the fourth quarter ticking away, our outstanding man-to-man -man defense had tightened aggressively to stifle every final pilot offensive possession. With just minutes remaining, we needed a clinching basket, and our motion offense freed Gus Arginaw in the right corner. He caught the pass. He gracefully rose above the desperately attacking St. Joseph player to loft a three-point shot toward the rafters. Time stood still as that ball rose slowly. The roar of the crowd was momentarily divided into anticipation and in fear as the ball hit the front of the rim and bounced slowly toward the foul line. A squadron of pilots desperately attacked the basket in an attempt to secure a final rebound and gain one more offensive possession. But with their hopes rising, with each rotation of that spinning orange ball, Jaime Sanchez, our gentle giant, split the defenders and soared above their outstretched arms, his enormous hands confidently tipping the ball into the awaiting basket to secure an amazing victory. I can still hear that sound of the crowd erupting and they, they filled the floor as Jaime weaved his way to try to find his little brother Gus, who was still recovering from that missed final shot. He draped his arm around Gus's neck and he pulled him closer repeating the promise he had made just hours before. I told you, I will do anything for you. I will never let you down. I think back fondly to the sincere commitments those young men made that special night as they huddled reverently around a unifying candle. Their exchanged vows and professions of love became our doctrine. As lovingly living up to your commitment with a sincere belief and trust in each other became the inspiration for the incomparable tradition and many championships that would follow. The 1998-99 De La Salle team went on to win the North Coast Section Championship and make it to the Final Four of the State of California, completed the season with a remarkable 30-1 record. The wins and the loss and the many records of that season have inevitably faded over time. But the friendships and the special memories created by those players and coaches have lasted forever. Keep listening, keep learning, and strive to be your best. And remember, excellence doesn't take days off.